The circle of trust. For the most part. The circle of trust. For the most part. The circle of trust. The I agree. Brotherly love trust. Circle. I can trust my brothers, except Joe sometimes with certain facts. What are you talking? Facts. Joe likes to make everything. Particularly prices of clothing items. It's true. Joe will I say, try to just, make them more. It's one hundred fifty bucks for, for an example. Four hundred dollars. It's one hundred fifty bucks for the holidays. For the holidays, we'll be talking, and of course, Joe already reaches out first. Like pretty much by the beginning of October, Joe's like, "Hey, so have you thought of anything to get me for Christmas?" I have not said that. I said, "Do you have any ideas for me to get you for Christmas?" Yeah, no. but that's but that's but that's the segue. oh, that's the prerequisite. That's, that's the, hey, so you what do you need for Christmas? Because I need because here's my list. I'm backdooring my way into a request. And we but come I up, ask we come up with an amount, right? Usually, we do. And then Joe's like, yeah, I got something. It's it's around that range. No big deal. And you get in. It's it's twice the range or yeah. triple the range. I'm a very generous person. A if he says you should go get a car and he says this car is about this price, tack on another 10 grand. I Double just, it. Look, I want to get you in the door. All, all the story. in the door. All Double Joe it. paints the, the rosy picture. That's the right. rosy side of the story. Glass half full, baby. Always. <laughs> there, believe me, there is a lot of strong positives to that. Yeah, well. But if you yeah. need the exact figure, no, like, but if you get expect to spend five grand, you're, you're actually spending 15. Yeah. You're not going to get it here. Exact. If you want exact dollar amounts, I'm not your guy. <laughs> trust is a big thing, though. It is a big thing. It is a big thing. I mean, Especially, I, actually, I can trust realize, that I won't get the exact dollar amount. You That's really, true. you really, I'll tell you what, you realize the older you get to, how few people you can actually trust. Yeah. And this bill of goods that like your friends are like family and your family are like friends. And whew, man, I mean, if you can I find, can if you trust. can, if you can find a, no, I'm just saying it, it goes both ways. People automatically think you can trust family and people automatically think you can trust friends. I would never trust family. <laughs> Hell no, no. Um, but it, it's it's to find that core group. By the way, a very select few that you can actually trust is literally priceless. Yeah. Literally priceless. Yeah, just finding one, honestly, just one person that you can actually trust. And it's not just do you trust. trust do you to trust a, yourself? To, ooh, that's the biggest. Actually, problem. I don't. I don't trust. That's me. the key. Actually, I don't right trust there. me at all. And he just nailed the the, the the key to the whole thing. Wow. If you can trust not yourself, be much left to talk about. And then. this is another one too. <laughs> It's another one. I'm kind of hungry. Let's get a sandwich. <laughs> your word. Do you trust that you're hungry? Your word means everything. Your word is your bond, right? Your word means everything. And it's not because you're letting down other people. It's because when you don't hold true to your word, when you tell lies or when you do things like that, it's not that you're hurting other people. It's actually that you're slowly chipping away at your own self-esteem you're right. You're right. and your own actual confidence and these things that you need and that you actually want and it's it's a weird hamster wheel because you're going around in circles chasing this well i want to paint a better picture or i don't want to tell the 100 percent the truth because i want a I don't, i'm afraid of conflict i want a good outcome the problem is is that the more you do it the worse the outcome the more conflict you have tell me this do you find this though and, and isn't there some validity to the fact that um how interesting is it when you're in a relationship whether it's with a friend or in a romantic relationship or something that there's a conditioning that goes on where sometimes there's not an environment where y you don't feel safe just coming right at it or they don't they don't take that advice or they don't take that number or they don't take that thing you say well and then what starts to happen you go into it with the best of intentions i'm going to be i'm going to say 100% what's on my mind i'm going to be 100% forthright i'm not that you're like being shady but just in terms of how you say something if they don't receive it well then all of a sudden you start to think and that starts to what? That starts to cut down on just the the honesty of the moment because yeah. you're you're almost tailor making it, yeah. and that's conditioned sometimes. I I found that because you know you just you feel like even in a working environment you want to come right at look. I can be honest with you guys. This scene is terrible. You know, but this if, sucks. Yeah, this script sucks. Something smells in here. What? You guys smell that? It's it's crap. I smell like it's. It's the script. <laughs> uh, no, but, uh, you know, and, 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 and if they don't take it well, yeah. then all of a sudden the next time, well, you might not do it that way. And now you're not being as honest with yourself. So you can't, you're not, you know what I mean? And it now, and if they find out that you're fudging it, then they don't trust you and you don't trust them. But it actually started with the best of intentions. It was actually to just not and this is, break it to them so tough. This you is know? the slippery slope that people who are people pleasers, yep. who try to be nice, Lack, don't like uh, confrontation. This is the slippery slope you get. I don't on. love confrontation. I'm not this a is the slippery pleaser. slope. What are you talking about? Guys, yeah, you are. this Everybody is the slippery loves. slope that we get on. <laughs> you guys listening? Yeah. This is very, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop some pearls on you here. Wow. Hopefully I'm not dropping them in front of swine. Yeah. It's, it's casting pearls to swine. 
I'm not dropping them, but it's okay. <laughs> You but, know what I mean? No, but here's the thing, and, and I just what is that this, expression? I, casting pearls. Don't cast the pearls. Oh no, that's swine. that's a, that's a great one of my favorite. It is one of my favorite. What's actually the origination of that? Well, because you've been wanting that. I know that, but you've what been is wanting actually, a pearl necklace. So you know, he's wondering who yeah. can cast you know him one of from? those. You know what the the actual principle there's a whole gross behind, thing going on here, guys. Okay, so here's what is behind pearl it. necklace. You know what it comes from? I mean, really, we're gonna here's, do that today. I have the dirty mind. We're gonna do that today. Come on. It's from the Bible, Joe. You guys just—you guys are you just so gross. It's from the Bible. I know what you're doing. You, you know just, what? I don't trust you guys anymore. You just tarnish no, the sanctity no, of so many things. You my mind with those horrible references. Anyway, what really no it means comes is from Joe. what really it means what? is is that if you have a good idea, and this there's another thing that's been going around social media right now that I actually like when they said, you don't tell your ideas to everybody, not because they don't love you, not right. because they don't this, but because people they'll steal them. No, because people tend to ruin things. Yeah, they and do. if you've got a good idea, it's impossible right. for you to expect that the other person you're telling you can see it. You're the only one that can see it. That's so true. if they shoot it down, the chances are you're going to have doubt in your mind. So that idea might go away. So you're actually not supposed to let people ruin things. But the real point behind it all is when it comes to the... Just don't catch your pearls to swine. The pearls to swine. Yes. Really what's behind that is that, is that if you've got an idea and you see it, mm -hmm. it's not that they're necessarily, they're not that they're like bad, but the reason why they're considered swine is because they're not inside your head. They're not seeing the image that you see. So if you cast this idea, you're expecting the impossible. You're expecting For them, them to, to receive it the it. way you see it. And if they don't receive it the way you see it's it, never gonna work. it tarnishes your sight. And then you can't follow through with the vision. And then you can't the follow through with the vision. That's what really it means. Okay, we've done our job here today, fellas. But going so back on another, what, thing. what if you add the word "flu" to the end of the phrase? Ooh. Don't cast your pearls to swine. Flu. flu. Oh, <laughs> Boy, that's a good one. End. Don't cast. Your hold pearls on, hold to on a minute, hold flu. on. Let's just think about that for a minute. Crickets. Yeah, crickets. No, but Anyone? you know, going back to the whole trust thing and that to whole the thing, audience. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, it, it goes back to the same thing that Jordan Peterson said, and this is what I Peterson, I, why I, Judge Peterson. The reason why I, ah, Rudy, I, I, the guy, the guy, I don't care what anybody says, and I can't believe he was actually banned from social media. The guy's got a lot of incredible things to say. It's gone all over social media, and this is not something that no nobody's heard. But it is thinking of that George Peterson, <laughs> the being the Peterson, nice guy, Peterson. the being the nice guy, Give you the some. driving, the you know, no conflict, the disease to please, all that stuff wrapped into a guy. Yeah. You want to be? I always grew up going, I want to be the nice guy, I want to be the good guy, because that's guy. Actually, and I've experienced this personally in my life. Actually, that good guy, that is the bad guy, because a guy that is afraid of conflict right. and is just trying to be good and trying to walk meekly through, he's, you know what's going to happen? He's going to get caught into that pattern we were just talking about. Yep. You're going to start to lie. Right. You're going to start to not be authen 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 authentic, authentic self, right. with what you're saying right. and what you're doing. Right. And slowly but surely, you get on that slippery slope. You know what it is better to what be? This transformation. Well, it's better to be a warrior in a garden right. than it is a gardener in a war. Because a warrior can learn to harness that. Stop being an asshole. This is, this is good stuff. He's making a good point. You're over here having a, a laugh at <laughs> A warrior knows how to harness the bad. You're right. You're and right. can be good <laughs> right. in every situation. Oh, right. But a guy uh -huh. who's got no warrior instinct at all, right. then you put him out in the war, and he's, he's going to fail. Right, he's going to fail. Big, you're right. A Viking guy walking through a garden. <laughs> A flower. No, you're like, and then you know what happens to that guy? He starts to grow long nails. Oh, Doyle and rules! A lot of back hair. Oh, Doyle rules. A lot of back hair. And he's got these cute. What? Back hair? <laughs> and spikes. All right, Matt, this, you're making it up. It's documented. I read it. Don't, I can't get so, this warrior out of a garden. Oh, no, you're in my such head. a weirdo. That's good. So funny. Let that just rotate in your head for the next weekend. This but you know what? Viking. Until you. Viking. Until Tomatoes. you get, until you get the the, the idea. Sowing a garden. <laughs> he just doesn't get it. <laughs> and later tonight, Andy's gonna wake up and go, "Oh no, Somehow, I get it." The good guy's the villain. <laughs> yes, yes. The good guy becomes a villain. You want to be a villain who's got that under control. A good villain. A good I've villain. I've always been the villain. You want to be a good villain, not a bad uh, guy. You want to be a good villain. You know what I never villain. realized. What? Andy's giant eyeballs can push out some giant cry tears. He can do it on on oh on, on cue too. Andy will just look at you. He go, "You want some tears?" Again, and he just cry. starts crocodile. Has anybody tears. seen uh, Wednesday? No. 
on Netflix. I haven't seen it, but I hear it's incredible. I will say, it's amazing. I, my daughter, but I, there's, I, a, monster. Loves it. there's my a monster. There's a monster. Loves it. There's a I monster. would make a good Tim Burton character. There's a monster in the jungle, that, in, not the jungle, in the forest, like by the school. There's a monster. In the jungle. When you get to it, episode three, when you get to it, yeah. when you see the monster, when you look at the monster's eyes, <laughs> you can see Andy's eyeballs. <laughs> Giant monster eyeballs, Andy's oh. got.